Maboy Manila Design Shadow from ManilaShaker.com As requested, here's our comparison for the Redmi 9T versus the Realme Narzo 20. Both have 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigabytes of internal storage, but which phone do you think is the best for its price? The cheaper one or the more expensive one? Let's find out. Realme Narzo 20 and Redmi 90 both are entry-level devices, but the Narzo 20 is equipped with a gaming chipset, while Redmi 90 was built with a power-efficient chip. The resolution is also a factor since Narzo 20 only has 720p, while Redmi 90 have 1080p or Full HD+. We'll talk about it later but first, in terms of design and build, Redmi 90 is slightly thinner and lighter. They both have expandable storage but Redmi 90 can store up to 512GB. Narzo 20 have the fingerprint scanner at the back but Redmi 90 also has a dedicated fingerprint scanner on the power button. And it has a lot of features including a secondary microphone, dual speakers, and IR blaster which you cannot easily find in an entry-level device. In terms of the display, as I've said, Realme Narzo 20 only has 720p resolution while Redmi 90 has 1080p. Both have the same screen size, 6.5 inches, and both have IPS LCD panel. Realme Narzo 20 has more visibility outdoors and the cinematic 20 by 9 ratio is also a good deal. But then in terms of display quality, 1080p of the Redmi 90 is more detailed and sharp. It also has a bunch of display colors in the settings menu. The contrast is great on both phones but the sharpness or the dense of the pixels in the Redmi 90 is very noticeably different compared to Narzo 20. Now let's talk about its cameras. Realme Narzo 20 only has a triple cam while the Redmi 90 is equipped with 4 lenses. Both have 48 megapixel main cam, 8 megapixel ultra wide, and 2 megapixel macro. The fourth lens of the Redmi 90 is for depth sensor. Looking at the main cam, I have no complaints about the two. I love how different they are in the overall photo quality. Realme Narzo 20 outputs less shadowy and brighter image, but Redmi 90 outputs a contrasty look. It feels like it has depth and punches in color. However, I'll tell you the downsides. Redmi 90 often processes photos underexposed and also it has deep shadows which will remove tiny details in the scene resulting in a not so perfect photo. It looks more natural compared to Narzo 20 but for me, it produces a little bit of saturation. While shooting at nighttime, night mode process of the Narzo 20 is good. It gives brighter image and sharper look but it introduces spots or color leaks which will reduce the overall quality. For me, in terms of sharpness, Redmi 90 is softer while Realme Narzo 20 looks over sharpened. It's pretty hard to judge them, so comment down below let us know if which phone has the good overall output for you with their respective main cam. Now let's jump to the other lenses. For ultra wide, Redmi 90 looks dreamy and soft, also underexposed. The blacks are also washed out, while Realme Narzo 20 kinda looks sharper. But in this picture, I kinda like the Redmi 90 photos here. The highlights are not drastically blown out, while Narzo 20 introduces flares or color leaks, as well as color fringing, while Redmi 90 has cleaner look and more colors. By zooming in, you can see that Redmi 90 is sharper, even though these two don't have the best quality of ultra wide lenses. Shooting macro, the main problem for Narzo 20 is the white balance detection. It tends to be in a warmer tone, making the photos real life color change. Redmi 90 have a more acceptable look but both have entry level quality. Portrait mode is fine, the Realme Narzo 20 tends to have inaccurate detection in subjects or objects but it gets the job done. Switching to the selfie cameras, they both have 8 megapixel front cam. They nearly have the same exposure, but it's pretty straightforward that the Narzo 20 outputs a pinkish skin tone, while the Redmi 90 have good skin tone color. It almost is true to life. It is also flattering and it smoothens my face while it still has sharpness, which is a great process here in its AI. In terms of camera features, Redmi 90 has more useful features including raw shooting, video pro mode, and 48 megapixel pro mode. It can go up to 4000 ISO and 30 second shutter, while Narzo 20 only has 1600 ISO and 16 second shutter. Redmi 90 also has a macro video, beautification on portrait mode, and movie frame. 
the upside for the Narzo 20 is it can record up to 1080p at 60 frames which is quite nice to have it there while Redmi 9T can only capture 1080p at 30 frames. Heading to their performance, Realme Narzo 20 is equipped with a budget gaming centric chip, MediaTek Helio G85 with 4 plus 64GB configuration running in Realme UI based on Android 10.0. While the Redmi 9T is equipped with a more power efficient chipset, Snapdragon 662 with the same 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigabytes of internal memory and is running on MIUI 12 and Android 10.0. It also has faster storage UFS 2.1 compared to the EMMC 5.1 of the Realme Narzo 20. But let's see the launch time of the two devices. Realme Narzo 20 is slightly faster but Redmi 90 is competing and it has faster launch time in PUBG. It really defines what is the difference between the UFS 2.1 and EMMC 5.1. In terms of performance, these are the benchmark scores of the two devices. There's a big difference in the performance since Helio G85 running in 720p gives a more stable gameplay experience. You can play Honkai Impact 3 and some Genshin Impact with more stability than Redmi 9T but expect to have lags and stutters on both devices. As you can see, Realme Narzo 20 has HFR mode in Mobile Legends. Unfortunately, there is no HFR mode in the Redmi 9T. Narzo 20 has ultra frames in PUBG while Redmi 90 can only go up to high frames only, but both have 60 frames in Wild Rift. In Call of Duty, Redmi 90 have settings up to very high, while Narzo 20 only have medium settings, but both have high frames of 30 FPS. If you want to watch the quality or performance while gaming, watch our gaming reviews of these two. I will put the link in the description box below. Now to their battery performance, both have a 6000mAh battery and in our endurance test, Realme Narzo 20 endured longer in heavy usage since it only is running in 720p resolution. But it is not a drastic improvement since the chipset is less power efficient. While the Redmi 9T is slightly lower but has the efficiency even in 1080p screen. As for charging, both have 18 watts capability but surprisingly Redmi 9T has a faster charging time. Overall, you will be having a hard time picking a device from the entry-level tier because if you want a full HD plus resolution while having the power to play AAA games at the same time, sure there are some other phones but you will have to add price on your budget or better yet pick a phone from the mid-range devices. But some will cost more than double the price of our phones in this review. So if you're into budget gaming, we suggest the Realme Narzo 20 because of the entry-level gaming chipset. But take note that the resolution is just 720p but it gives stability and less lag for 7,990 pesos only. But if you want to sacrifice the power for entertainment or productivity focused machine and some casual gaming, Redmi 90 is for you. At less than 1,000 pesos, you can now have a 1080p display, dual speakers, more camera features, and a quad cam. But overall, these two are a bang for the buck device. Both are featured packed entry level devices and can get the job done. And that's the comparison between the Redmi 9T versus the Realme Narzo 20. Let us know which phone you like, comment it down below. That's it. Please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to be notified on our future content. And also, don't forget to visit manilashaker.com for more tech news reviews and comparison of the latest device. Once again, this is Aishadel and Mabuhay, Manila!